This man had one of the best reputations in YouTube history. OG is a channel that covers video games made by Supercell. When taking a first look, the channel looks pretty normal, but when looking for a bit, you can see that it gets a lot more views than people in his size. But that big of a success wasn't so easy for him, and it took a lot more hard work than you think. So how did OJ manage to get this amount of success? How did he give his soul away for that long of a time? And how does he upload daily and still get hundreds of thousands of views every single day? OJ's channel was created 8 years ago, on March 14th, 2016. That was when he made the first video on his channel. When the video came out, people instantly realized the potential. The video was a guide on how to use the lightning card in Clash Royale. And because the video was so helpful and the editing was so good, it instantly stood out. Already was a heavy lightning user before this, but I wanted to say this video is really well made. Looking forward to more of them. This video makes me want to drink orange juice and use lightning. After this video and a few others, OJ's channel was starting to grow a lot. His Clash Royale knowledge and skills were just so good at the time, and a lot of people just watched him to get better at the game. His video making skills were also very impressive back then, and because in 2016 YouTube was a lot simpler, you can really get why he instantly became big. After some time, when OG's channel was growing even more, people started to make memes about OG's content. These memes did help his channel grow massively, and would later be used as a character for the channel. Positive elixir trade, positive elixir trade, larger positive elixir trade, positive elixir trades that are positive elixir trade. It's a positive elixir trade, easy positive elixir trade. After three months, while OG's channel was continuing to pop off, it would finally make a massive change in his content. On June 20th, 2016, OG would make his first QA video. In the video, he finally did a face reveal and answered a lot of mysteries about him. Now, normally this wouldn't be anything huge. In the first few months, it really wasn't. But in the case of OG's channel, this step was a very crucial step for the future of his channel, as his skill level began to get outdated. Now, fast forward a bit, in 2018, OG's channel was continuing to absolutely pop off. He also started daily uploading around that time. Everyone was just enjoying his content every day and were learning a lot of skills too. And that was when OG would finally decide to make his long-awaited content transition. Let's go back a bit. Remember when I told you about the face reveal that OG did in 2016? Well, a few months after that video, OG was starting to show his face and personality a lot more. People were actually starting to really like the side of OG, they weren't just there for the knowledge or quality anymore, and in 2018, OG started to change up his content. The main stuff that happened to OG's channel in 2018 was the game quality. At the time, he saw that he doesn't always have to make high quality gameplay. He realized that his personality was taking a really good part in his content, and from this point on, a new chapter in OG's career would start. He would start to show a lot more of himself, and use less and less high quality tips. And even the memes that I talked about earlier, OG saw a massive potential with them, and started to use them a lot more. This new casual style of OG was turning out to be very successful in the long run, as OG was just having more fun recording and playing casually. Oh, we've got another stabby stabby, that's, that's kind of annoying, but not as annoying as this one. <laughs> Ice Wiz, that's not enough. Ice Wiz does not one-shot them! Ice Wiz does not one-shot them! Oh, baby! Mini P.E.K.K.A. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's go! I am once again asking for your support to use code OJ. After a few months, OJ had completely moved on from his old style. Everyone just liked it better than the old OJ, but no one could expect what would happen to OJ's channel very soon. At the end of 2018, Clash Royale wasn't doing that great. The game was nowhere close to what it was, and people were losing interest in it. As such, Clash Royale YouTubers like OJ were losing viewers. Ten of viewers just stopped watching him entirely. OJ could do anything about those viewers, but did have one more option to try and grow back. In December of 2018, Supercell's new game called Brawl Stars went global. It was a pretty massive deal at the time. The game was getting a lot of attention, and Doji saw an opportunity. Because Clash Royale and Brawl Stars were both made by Supercell, maybe he'd get some viewers that come from this new game. Of course it wasn't his first time playing the game, but he never hard focused on it. So OG decided to try, and let me tell you, this could have been the choice that saved him from the biggest burnout ever. Up until this point, OG was just a Clash Royale creator. Everything that he ever posted on his channel was just Clash Royale. 
And that brings up another really big point in Noji's career. When you start doing YouTube, it's very important that you have a passion for it. A lot of the times, you are the boss of yourself, and it's very easy to get burned out and stop making videos. I've seen it with my own channel as well. Some days I don't always feel like I want to work on videos, and it's okay. But if you want to do YouTube full time, you have to make sure you're having fun doing it. And that's one of the biggest reasons OG has managed to stay successful. When Brawl Stars launched globally, OG would start making a lot of content on it. At first, they didn't get that much views, since not all of the Clash Royale community tried Brawl Stars yet. But then, after more and more uploads from OG, his views were skyrocketing. Not like the good old Clash Royale days, but still very, very high. And the more important thing is that OG was actually having a ton of fun. Brawl Stars was a fresh game for him, and him and the audience were having a really good time. And of course, OG took his new founded personality into the new game. With this change, OG was having a lot of fun playing this new game. And because it was new for him and he wasn't that great at it, his new casual style from earlier was really shining here. But a year and a half later, something would be released in Brawl Stars that would change everything. On May 13th, 2020, a new update had came for Brawl Stars. The update was pretty massive, a new battle pass system would arrive in the game, and with it came a new character called Gale. Now, everything seems to be normal here. As I said in the last video, Supercell games always receive new content, but this time with Gale it was a little different. When Gale was released he wasn't that game breaking, but there were some unique things to him. He had an ability to place a jump pad and another ability to push back enemies. These abilities were not broken or anything, but he had a potential to troll other players by trapping them. This act is called cheesing and is pretty fun to do. And that's when OJ decided to try the cheesing method. And the new legendary meme was born. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! 3v1! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. We opened it up, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yes, Frank, get in, get in there. Get in there, Frank! <laughs> we did it! We did it! As you saw, choosing your enemies is really, really fun. Even though it takes a while, it's worth it just to have that one game where you win in this goofy way. And that takes me back to what I said about passion in YouTube. If OG continued to have a lot of fun, he would of course continue uploading. And that's pretty much how he succeeded, by just having fun doing stuff he loves and making it productive. A few months later he would start another channel dedicated to Supercell games and social media, because it was just fun for him. And fun was truly the key that got OG his long term success, and thus why he has been doing it for the past 8 years.